Good morning, you guys. So I was thinking for today's video, I want to do a full day of eating so I can show you guys everything that I'm eating in a day and also a workout. So workout, I'm thinking it's going to be a dumbbell full body. I'm about to plan it right now. So I'm ready to go. But it's just going to be another home workout that you can do in your lounge room and all you'll need is a mat and dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, then you can just do body weight, that's fine. I'll try and do um, exercises that you can alter if you have different equipment, but um, we'll see how we go. I'm gonna write it up now. Is the full body dumbbell workout that I'll be doing today. Can you even see? So full body, we've got lower first, we've got four exercises for lower body, then we go down and we have four exercises for upper body, and then we come down again and we have four exercises with abs. And I'm thinking we're gonna do it like a circuit, so I go all the way through and then have a minute break and then repeat from the top. I'm thinking maybe 15 reps of each, We'll see, I haven't decided yet, but these are gonna be the exercises. But first, before I train, I do need to eat because I need some fuel for this workout because I have a feeling it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a long one too. And it is currently 10.55. And if you saw my last little sit down and chat with my top 10 tips for quarantine, you would have seen that I said I'm not eating until 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just fasting through that morning part of the morning, cutting out some of those calories throughout the day because I'm not moving as much, not working and everything like that. So it's time for me to make my breakfast and I will show you what I'm having. So I also just want to say that this morning I've had a glass of lemon and lime juice, fresh lemon and lime juice. And for that I just use one lime and two lemons and I just juice that and then add water and ice. Um, and so this is my actual proper first meal of the day. I'm having eggs on toast, well two eggs on one piece of toast and then I like to have uh, tomato on another piece. I also have it. An apple, I love royal gala. That's always my go-to. And they're usually bigger than this. That's why I like them because they're so big, but that's a bit of a small one. Um, and I have natural peanut butter with that. And I also do put a drizzle of honey because that is just the ultimate combo. And so for my bread, I use this. Um, it's just a Coles brand gluten-free uh, white bread. And it is so yummy. For anyone that's gluten intolerant, this is a good go-to one because it tastes amazing. It tastes just like normal toast, normal bread. And the sizes are pretty small, but it's fine. Anyone else um, accidentally push their toast down for a second time and then forget that you press it down for a second time and leave it in there for a whole second time and then this happens? Yeah, that happens to me like every day. <laughs> I should just put the setting on a little bit higher so I don't need to pop it down again, but uh, I forget. So I'm just gonna put butter on. So I have two eggs on one piece of toast and just a sliced tomato on my second piece of toast and I'm just going to use um, salt and pepper and also this is so yum. You need to try it if you haven't. It's just like a chicken, charcoal chicken flavour. So good. So I just put a little bit of that on here and when I mean a little bit, I mean a big bit. And then I'm gonna just put some salt and pepper on this bad boy. Two pieces of gluten-free bread, my tomato, my eggs, 
my apple with some actual peanut butter and then I put the honey on just before I eat it so it's nice and fresh on the apple. Yum. Um, I do usually intuitively eat so I don't really know the, um, how much peanut butter I've put on or how much honey I'm going to put on so I won't know exact calories or anything like that but I am thinking that soon I'm going to start tracking my macros properly just because I'm not moving as much not working out as much so I probably need to rein it in a little bit but um when I do do that then I can put like macros and calories in that up on the screen for you guys but this is my breakfast and I can't wait to eat it because look how good it looks Yum. All right, it is go time. Here's the workout again. So the way I'm going to work it is I'm going to do 15 reps of each exercise. So when it comes to an exercise like the split squat, which will be one leg at a time, it'd be 15 reps each side. So same with the curtsy squat, 15 reps each side. Um, same with bicep curls and dumbbell pull throughs. Same with oblique crunch, so 15 crunches each side. And we're gonna go work through four rounds and I'm gonna time it and see how long this takes me. But if you wanna give it a go guys, take a quick picture of this and give it a go. <laughs> did three rounds which took me 44 minutes so roughly each round uh, will take 15 minutes well it did for me anyway so I did three rounds so it was 15 minutes each round and um, I think that I was being a little bit too confident in saying four rounds definitely want to try again and get four rounds but for today three was three was enough um you guys need to give it a go and let me know how you go and time for a post-workout meal I think um, so before my workout, I did have about seven mini um, Cadbury Easter eggs that Gemma brought home for me for Easter. But I forgot to show you guys that. But now for post-workout meal, I'm going to have some brown rice. I'm going to have some Kanga bangers. And this coleslaw. So I've just heated it up and we're going to add some of these crispy noodles in. And I'm also going to add some tomato sauce because that makes the kangaroo sausages that much better. I'm also really trying to drink enough water in the day because I've realized that when I'm on the go and I'm working, I constantly have my drink bottle with me and I'll drink a lot of water. But as soon as I'm at home, we're not doing as much, I forget to drink and I think I've been severely dehydrating myself. So I am going to drink all this water plus another bottle today. This is two liters. So I'm at least gonna try to get to three. Alrighty, so for dinner, I'm going to be having some of this gluten-free pasta with just some extra lean beef mints, the same salad that I had with my lunch, and a tomato 
a little bit of salt and pepper of course i did originally cook up some potatoes in the air fry to have as my carbs for dinner but they were so delicious that i ate them all like straight after i cooked them so that's why i'm gonna be having this spaghetti instead it's still gonna be yum because it's gonna be like a spaghetti bolognese with the mints but i'll show you the finished product Okay, so last meal of the day is not Jabba. Don't eat the Carol Baskin. <laughs> no, the tigers ate someone, not Carol Baskin. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, it's so our last meal, which is going to be my dessert. It's going to be a banana smoothie with some cherries. The best protein powder. Uh, almond milk and some honey. And some kiwi fruit? No, thank you.